Hello fans of Marvel Heroes and friends of my channel, my name is Wilfred and welcome to another episode of Q&A. I play the game, also talk a little bit about the game. This is Marvel Heroes Omega, the PC version, free to play. And uh, I'll be playing a little bit of the Cosmic event. I think right now it is still the Big Ten, I'm not quite sure. I'll be playing a little bit of Beast, a little bit of Carnage, Doctor Strange as well. Actually, I quite like that hero still. And uh, if time allow, maybe showcase to you a little bit of the Rocket Raccoon. Haven't played him for quite some time. All right, so now, uh, there are a couple of things happening ever since we have got the new community manager. There's been more communication uh, from the developers to us. Um, the uh, I think I think one of the very nicely written articles is on the whole tagging or keywords and why there's a need to have redesign all the gear to have the kind of like Omega kind of items. Now I personally I feel that that article has been really nicely written. Uh, it's good to have some kind of transparency. I understand how they come about the uh, why they are doing what they are doing. Um, so I really appreciate that and I think, you know, all in all, you know, I'll, I'll put it on my second part of the video when I talk about how I feel uh, on all these changes. But all in all, I think it's, a, it's kind, of, kind of nice uh, given the circumstances that we have. But, you know, as, as always in this game, the problem not just about the, the gear, the problem is actually a lot more than that. So that's part one. Uh, the, another thing the, before I head on to the Omega items or the tagging itself is about the costume. So I don't think it's a big surprise uh, after the Omega patch, when you do a prestige, you will no longer get a physical kind of a costume. Duh. And uh, so you can't really blend the costumes into a cost, uh, into a random costume. So what they have done is that um, you know they, whatever you have in your in, in, in your inventory uh, at the time of that patch that hits you uh, every you know once you have three kind of duplicated costume you can get uh, you know random costume box and uh, if you have one or two left over they can't really combine into one they will just give you another one as well so it's very generous of them in some sense uh, are you be will you be paying a lot of prestige uh, from now to the Omega patch uh, let me know in the comment box below um, and also, another good news for the PC version is that uh, they make it very clear all the costumes will be a la carte, where I accept those, some of those from the like cost, uh, uh, fortune card and so on. So I think uh, recently there has been a lot of fear that we will be heading towards the console way whereby you have to gamble about the loot boxes and so on, keep playing to, to get that. So I don't think that will happen to the PC world. So yeah, I mean that's a good thing. Now, Next thing, let's take a look at the uh, the, the so-called you know why why do we need to have all these like new Omega items and um, and it's really solving some of the problem before in the past. I think I think you know you need items. To, um, I mean, right now if you look at the unique items, I hardly can remember what slot one, two, three, four are or five are because it is well you know true to say there's a lot of lines of uh, items there. Um, I think biggest update ever when they remove quite a lot of power ranks and stuff like that. Um, you know, it make it like, a bit better, but uh, it also sort of like it's still quite a lot of words there. The procs are all inside the embedded inside the unique as well. Uh, and I think more importantly, all these unique items are being handcrafted. Need not to say, no surprise there. Now, um, it it is good in some sense because you feel that all these unique are rather unique to the hero. But I think um, you know when when you have sixty odd heroes like what we have in the PC world, they, <laughs> I don't think Gazillion has the, uh, the manpower to, to continue doing that, which is a shame. So that's one of the motivation, the problem statement they have, why they need to uh, do away with the you know, unique items. So now the, you know, so the, the new items, the Omega items, uh, should come as no surprise to you as well. You heard a lot on the uh, console world, you know, they have different tagging, the keywords. So instead of physical, mental and the uh, energy like we have in the, in the PC world, they already go ahead with lightning, wind, eyes or throw or, or dash or whatever it is. Uh, so there's a lot of like um, you know very thematic uh, to 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 the power itself. To me though, I mean it, it is just a keyword because it could be any keywords for 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 a matter. It could you know even keywords itself. Yeah, I, to me it seems like you are trading one keywords to another set of keywords anyway. Um, so but 
I, I can understand it's a lot easier for them to develop the, the game or to expand the game. I think, you know, previously when they first announced the Omega item, and by the way, I didn't quite like it either, um, is that the Omega items would be associated with the power itself. So uh, back then, it's actually rather interesting because you could have a set of Omega item that is build defining, meaning that uh, there may be some power that is associated with them or interact with each other. Very much like some of the triple A ARPG that does it that way, handcrafting items like Diablo 3, um, you know, that, 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 that would define the build using the power itself. But um, but because I think for Gazillion, which is kind of a small company, in a sense, they can't really cope with the kind of like complexity. Uh, so they need to sort of like, you know, relook into the whole thing and do not want to keep like overhauling the system, which I think is very painful for me and you and for everybody else. I mean, you know, just about 10 months ago, they've come up with the biggest update ever. Now they have a part two that you have to refarm everything again. So, yep, so that is the, I'm just delivering the message. Now, um. And also another problem is the proc itself, which I totally understand as well, because I think I think you know the whole develop, development block developer block kind of like you know is it, is actually very long. By the way, I need to swap the key up there. Uh, it's actually very long, um, uh, and I think towards the end it kind of makes sense because you know the the procs that you have like in cosmic item today actually they do not stack. Um, you know those benefit. Um, it, it doesn't mean that you have. But according to what they say, it doesn't mean that the more you step the same thing in, the higher chance you proc and whatnot. So, um, so it is not meant to be that way. In a, in a way, yes, we understand. You know, be, because of that, then they need to somehow come out with a better system to communicate to you that hey, you know, you can't really step all this like same proc to one another and, and try to make it work kind of thing. So. I think that's the whole motivation of why they need to uh, revamp the whole system. And so, um, with that said, they are looking into sort of like the set item because they want to communicate with us through the itemization that some of the pro or some of these like um, um, so called uh, affixes can stack to each other. So they make sure that, in, in, in a way, uh, they, they don't need to worry about. You know, having to roll those affixes onto the item itself because now with the set item, the more type of item that you collect, uh, then you know you have the you 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 automatically get to the next tier like tier one, tier two, tier three, up to five, uh, without having to collect all this like proc stuff like that, uh, which I kind of it kind of makes sense because sometimes you know you know you could, you could double and duplicate and what's going to happen and stuff like that. So I think that is the reason why they do that and to to. To be able to code that into the system, they actually need more time, uh, and possibly that is the whole reason why they need more time for the whole entire Omega patch uh, to give us the so-called set item. And now, uh, with that said, uh, the set item also come with its own pitfall according to the developer, which I kind of understand because I think the first thing first, a lot of us when we look into the set item design or at least Omega item design. I think there are about 30 odd of them and they'll add another, I think 30 plus another five plus a couple more along the way. There's quite a lot of, uh, of sets to collect. So uh, I think our immediate concern, at least my immediate, con immediate concern was that, whoa, you know, that means I have to really have a lot of like inventory to keep track of all these like, you know, um, like, like gear. Um, the combination that I may use it for my hero or, or some other heroes and stuff like that. So I think that was my big concern number one. Uh, and another concern, of course, is like you know, do do we need to collect all the five affixes in order to make my heroes kind of like awesome? Uh, because like you know, if you play other games like Diablo three, they have a set a set concept as well. More often than not, sometimes it's not the case, but more often than not, uh, the the highest rank is the most build defining. Uh, so I, I don't think they are going for that direction in the sense that it is not really a, well, it's not really build defining, but rather, rather say that depending on what kind of build that you, you have in mind, and I think I'm a little bit ahead of myself here, but depending on you know, what kind of build that you have in mind, then you collect uh, what kind of like, you know, set to have the combo of it. So I'll talk a little bit more about that, right? Um, 
So now, how to address the problem number one, uh, whereby you know you feel that you have to put in a lot of time commitment and also <laughs> stash commitment to collect all this gear, is that um, they would limit the loot table for the uh, Omega item drop for the hero. So in in a sense, it become more relevant loot. Um, but having said that, it will still be like fifty percent uh, of the total set. So it's still quite a fair bit. So I'm trying to figure out here. Uh, because um, obviously, you know, some heroes can't like I can't imagine, um, you know, Wolverine as an eyes or Wind or Lightning and stuff like that. Uh, so what are, I think they they must have something that is in common uh, out of this thirty set or thirty five set, and then after that they will do something like something specific to that hero. Uh, so in a sense, all this common set could potentially be shared among you know. People as well, I don't know, in a sense, yeah. So, by the way, this Doctor Strange, I kind of like him with clear, and that's why I make a swap, and I think that's pretty awesome as well. Okay, um, now, that is the, that well, that, that's what they said. Um, so, you, you're probably looking at about um, 17 kind of set item for the hero. So, if I play Doctor Strange, I'll probably be collecting 17 set items, maybe 17 that potentially potentially drop it's still quite a fair bit because 17 or 20 times 5 is already what a hundred of them um, I, I I don't know whether there is there's space to collect that many items seriously I mean I have the hero stash for all my heroes most most of my heroes and I think uh, you know that may not even be enough uh, to be honest if I have to collect half of the total sets available in the game which is about 17 times 5 that's still a lot think about that all right now um next bit is that uh i think i think the second point is um the second point is that they they, they wouldn't want you to collect all the entire set to start making it work because face it i mean you know if, if you play diablo 3 i only have to deal with uh, five set item right um and it, five set item yeah around there and after that uh, each set i can actually you know craft to another set so it's rather easy to get the complete set in, in a game like diablo 3 uh, but this is all pure dropping i do not know whether there are any crafting uh, recipes to help you with that so i i think likely or not um, it is going to be hard to collect a set of five um, to you know, and, and, and not only the Omega item, you have to get the, the type of it, you have to get the right affixes for your for your for your uh, hero. I mean I've seen a lot of junk in this game. So far I've been playing this terminal. I, I spent about an hour playing by the way today. I got nothing. I basically only have one unique upgrade on the hero that I have very, very poor kind of like, you know, um, unique anyway. So so I mean that that speaks a lot about this game. I mean you could spend really a lot. Now of course I'm not boosted, so you can't really you know, uh, maybe that's why I've got no loot. But in any case, um, so I, I think in, in many scenario, you probably end up with the combination. You can't really get like all five uh, for your for your set item. So you get like a combination of three and two and stuff like that. I think what they're trying to preempt you is that it is still not that bad. You know, don't feel bad about not having the entire set. You can still potentially be good because they're saying that, you know, uh, bonus, uh, tier one bonus is roughly the same as like, you know tier 5 bonus so they are not discriminating like you know a high tier a set to 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 anything like that uh, so in a way it kind of take away the whole entire kind of excitement of uh, collecting set because if you do tell if you were to tell me that well it doesn't really matter uh, what what set you're collecting so you don't really feel compa compelled to to get the whole set anyway uh, so you just focus on the fixes whatever set comes you know it is it is not build defining at all so i think towards the end i think it is still uh, very much i i feel that uh, it is still not really build defining but uh, why am i saying that it is really about the build that you have versus the you know uh, you know the gear itself is because i think if you're going to mix a lot of like low tier gear like you know one 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 or you know one two two one two two kind of combination i i think it's more for a generalist so for example if you play a um you know a hero that that does in general a few other powers uh mixed together or whatnot uh you know in, in a sense maybe it's just for a generalist kind of like hero but for more specialist kind of hero because you know the build requires certain things to work then you may need to collect all five i think that's about it uh, they say though, because I look at, uh, I look into the example, I don't really feel that it is that build defining. I mean, maybe I was, I'm wrong. Maybe they haven't really got, 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 got into that yet. All right. 
Um, next bit really is about it's a lot to absorb here, a lot of words here. But what it really means is that um, I don't I I, I think um, I think slot one to five is the Omega Gear that we know that all your unique will become like uh, obsolete um, once this Omega patch is up. I think all the artifact will be gone. Well, not gone. It will be like another round of like a re-examination, which. I'm so glad in some sense that I did not play all the heroes of the biggest update ever because all my effort would have been wasted. Um, you know, whatever artifact that I figure out and use, um, it would be, I mean, if there's no physical, mental and energy, I'm pretty sure they will swap it with something else, I hope. And then after that, uh, I have to re-examine all these things. So there's one, uh, the rings will we, we'll be gone as well. So I think, you know, don't, don't spend too much time in <laughs> in grinding uh, danger room just to get the unique ring or so on. If you don't have it, that's fine too. Because guess what? There will be cosmic um, kind of like an omega version to it. Um, so you potentially be getting more set item uh, in, in in that sense. Which, well, I mean, just the set itself. Um, then the they are also looking at the uh, royal grandeur. So for those of you who have not played. Um, a game called Diablo 3 basically it is a very nice ring that reduces the requirement uh, of the set by one so you know they'll give you like you know uh, if it's because the item usually go by like you know one uh, you know you, you collect a set of two collect a set of four and stuff like that so you don't need to kind of get hit that mark in order to benefit from the set you can just like you know have have three set items but benefit on the fourth one. Um, so it worked that way. It's a bit strange though because for Diablo, and I'm very sure there's a reason why they don't do one, two, three, four, five. They only do like, I think, is it one, one, two, four, five, something like that, I can't remember, or two, four, five, something like that. Um, I, I think, you know, it, it, it's sort of like, you know, I think that design is pretty good, but I do not know how the Royal Grand Duel kind of like design would come to Marvel Heroes. I don't know, I mean, I'm just like um, open-minded. Um, just hear, it, hear, hear things out. Alright, so now, uh, with that said, it's a very, very lengthy update. I think uh, all in all, they just want um, the system to be scalable, uh, flexible, so that they can continue uh, developing the game using some very generic kind of like, um, you know, set of affixes. So they don't, you know, it'll be a lot faster for them. I hope to come out with new content and so on. So I, mean, I think that is the overall vision of it. So. Um, the second part of this video is really about my thoughts and I'll be playing uh, Rocket Raccoon as well, um, just a bit. So I think maybe before I get there, just looking back at the footage, I'm, of course this is pre-recorded. Uh, looking back at the footage, I think some of the newer heroes like the uh, Beast or even Carnage, their, their ultimate is really, really strong. I mean, it's surprisingly strong. Uh, compared to say my Doctor Strange or even later on, as you see Rocket Raccoon is not quite really there. Um, it's just one of those things, rather unfortunate. The newer hero is always stronger, I think. Um, yeah, so that gives me a thought, a lot of thought about. I mean, the reason why I'm playing, reconnecting a lot of older heroes also to see if it's a big if, uh, if I still play this game, it's a big if, uh, which of the heroes I would like to take it to the Omega Prestige. Uh, because that is really, I don't think it's, it's an option. Uh, if you want to play your, have your heroes to be strong, I don't think it's an option not to be, have the Omega Prestige, which is like what doing doing it like seventy times or whatever it is is insane. Um, well, I mean, you get plus seventy fighting, plus seventy <laughs> intelligence. I mean, that is just humongous. You you never get it from any gear that that you see here. Any case, um, my afterthought on the whole thing so far, I think I think the concept is good. Um, I can I can understand where they come from. I mean, unique also have their own issue. I think hybrid also have their own issue. In some sense, there's a lot of issue that they can just just can't have the manpower to to uh, to shake it off uh, to 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 get it done because there are just so many heroes in this game. Um, we we all hope that each hero will be unique in some sense. But I think um, I, I personally though I I still prefer to see handcrafted items. Now, what is handcrafted item means? It means that uh, special attention are being made to the particular heroes uh, on a gear to give something um, uh, beauty finding, rather than saying that, well, since, since say, what should I, okay, since, since say maybe 
um, storm dust lightning and thaw range also dust lightning. So why don't they? Why don't they, those two share the same gear because they both dust lightning? But it's not quite the same, isn't it? I mean, you know, storm dust lightning with her I don't know mutant power, while thaw dust lightning with his I don't know Mjolnir that call upon thunder. So it is different. Different is different. I mean, they have different power to trigger the different thing as well. Uh, but uh, I, I think I think in some sense, you know, I, I still prefer Diablo three kind of way to handcraft the items rather than something very generic to, um, you know, to to just like you know multiple hero share. I mean, if you if you if you look at the uh, denomination of it, I, I can understand, right? So instead of um, having say, um, sixty heroes, now instead of having that and multiply that with I don't know three or five kind of build options. You soon have to design a lot of gear for a lot of heroes. I mean, even like Rocket Raccoon, you see here, the unique has two different sets: one for the summoner, one for the, for the non-summoner, and uh, and and Black Widow probably have like three sets of unique and stuff like that. Now, it is fun for us, but it's not fun for Gazillion. So I think they realize that. Well, you know, uh, they, so they they yeah. So I think they, that's the whole reason why they want to, they don't want to do the handcraft uh, crafting approach. Um, we will need to relook into all the heroes uh, after the uh, biggest update ever, uh, part two, which is the Omega patch. Um, so I've already said something about it uh, in, in, in the previous part of the video. I mean, you know, it's just one of those things. I I think um, I, I've been interacting with people in the forum as well. I, I I really have no issue farming gear, right? Because I have played a lot of loot type of games. Um, from Diablo 3 to Path of Exile and I got stuck there again by the way um, Path of Exile to World of Warcraft to many other games um, I've, I play them all um, I don't mind farming items but the content has to be rich and engaging and fun as well um, so so after all this regearing, I don't really see in the horizon what is new. Apocalypse, maybe? I don't know. Um, I don't really find it exciting after seeing some of the clips. So the, it is more or less just like running the same terminal like the boogie. Uh, 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 sorry, boogies? Daily bugle, sorry. Uh, daily bugle. And I don't really find that really fun. I mean, I spent like one hour on this one and I don't really see anything. I think it, it has to do with you know all these like uh, reward as well the reward system is important so I hope they look into the whole holistic system like I said in my last video uh, some pointer to improve the game it just uh, keep people playing I mean you know I, I can I can keep playing the uh, loot game but the content has to be fun really um, so now I think a lot of question on my mind of course you no know, first thing first is that uh, can I uh, without doing cosmic uh, Omega prestige you know, will I be able to start uh, you know, pass the Omega kind of uh, trial and start collecting Omega gear? Because you know, Omega Prestige, well, I think for some it's fun, uh, but for a lot of others it's really not fun. I mean, I, if I could just start a hero at 60, I'll just start a hero at 60. Leveling is never my cup of tea anyway, uh, unlike say Path of Exile, which is different kind of like a story. So, um, so that is one thing on my mind I hope not because Omega Prestige is super boring um, I think it's just a, a very unnatural way to prolong the play time by asking people to play 70 Prestige and before that you have to do 5 including Cosmic Prestige so <laughs> I, I'm definitely not into that and I'm keen to see how my existing gear is going to be transferred my my take is that probably have to refarm everything um, so that's fine I think in the uh, I mean, I've been playing uh, the biggest update ever after the, um, you know, I mean, I'm, I've been playing this game after the biggest update ever on and off, but I, it's just, the problem is just, uh, it's very hard to find, find any gear. I mean, so far you've seen on my video clip, you hardly see anything, do you? I mean, I keep picking up junks that I have to throw it away. So, well, that is also part of the reason why I don't feel rewarding. Even the infinity system, I don't really get much out from it as well. Um, and and I think the, another challenge this game has is that there's just not too many randomness to the whole gameplay. It's a lot of like, um, it's just static, right? I mean, you know exactly what to do, go where and do what kind of thing. There's no randomness to keep you a fresh kind of thing. Um, and uh, I think all in all, you know, Omega difficulty is not enough to bring me back to full-time playing for sure because it's just just higher difficulties on on the same content. 
Um, and in the end, all this, you know, kind of like a gear change and whatnot, I mean, I always say these are just stats. It doesn't change the way I play, say, Rocket Raccoon. I'm pretty sure I will still play Rocket Raccoon the same way, just laying some turret, uh, turret you know, uh, you know, commanding brute to do, to do things, and, uh, you know, shooting my big fucking gun. But that's about it, right? I mean, I, what else am I going to do with, uh, with Rocket Raccoon? Even with a whole set of gear, I'm going to collect, right? So... Um, he's so cute. Um, so that that is my thought. And uh, what do you think? Um, are you excited about the the new Omega patch? And uh, you know, after you've read all this, uh, you know, rationalization on how why they are doing certain things certain way. So let me know in the comment box below, and I'm always keen to hear your view. Now I I I will be going for a holiday soon, so you probably will not see a lot of my videos coming up. Um, uh, in this channel, so I'm still around. Don't worry about that. Um, and and I probably may not play this that much Marvel Heroes, uh, uh, you know, until the Omega patch, where I will just go in and take a look um, at the at the items. I've been thinking about my guys because I've uh, I've always enjoyed making guys, but these days, you know, with all these things hanging in the air, I kind of didn't want to do a lot of uh, guy as well. But I think, you know, one thing good about uh, my recent guy is that I don't really talk about the gear. So, and, and you know that with the Omega kind of like gear, you're not going to change the way that you play the game anyway. So that's all, and uh, the reason why I go to clear is that I heard um, they would remove the Mark One Fortune card as well. So I don't know. I'm trying to spend all my cube shot, um, and this is my favorite stop, uh, favorite kind of like uh, spot to chill and lock out. And I'll see you again some days. All right, have fun with whatever you do. Bye.